Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another video. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the video. So a couple weeks ago, I ordered G2 Ramjet from EntertainmentEarth.com. But in order to get free shipping, I needed to get $49 worth of product, and I only lacked about $20. Bucks. So I'm looking at their in-stock items. I have all the Transformer figures they had in stock. I had all the Masters of the Universe figures. So I'm looking and I see these things called fig pins. Now I've seen fig pins at Walmart and GameStop, you know, at a glance. I've never really looked at them, but I noticed Entertainment Earth had Optimus Prime and Megatron. So they were both on sale for 15 bucks, which gave me the $25 I needed to get my free shipping. So I really don't have any idea what these are. So let's find out together what the f are fig pins. So here they are, just like they came in my Entertainment Earth box. Both fig pins are sealed in cellophane. So let's go ahead and get that open. I want to make sure not to cut the case because I think that is a display case on the inside. So we'll just cut it just like that. Get Optimus out and we'll do the same for Megatron. So there we go. There is the fig pins in their display cases. Let's look at Optimus. And that's actually really cool looking i love the art that's very generation one that's like g1 animation cells so that's pretty sweet nice hard plastic case got some nice artwork here on the back i apologize for my ring light there so yeah that's pretty cool now how do you get this open okay here we go Okay, that isn't, okay, it looks like it's double wrapped, so it feels like plastic, but as you can see right here, it's got a thin layer over top of it. So let's see, okay, just pop that out. And now, sweet, double protection. There is a nice display case on the inside. Let's do the same thing for Megatron. As you can see, G1 art on the front and back. So I'm impressed with the display quality of these things. So there we go. We've got both of them in the case, and they look pretty good. And for some quick size comparisons in the case, I brought in Netflix Bumblebee here. So there you go. There's an idea of the size of them in their display case. Now let's go ahead and get one out. Let's see. How do you do this? Looking for a little button or something. It's got fig pin right there. You'd think that would be on the front. So let me see if I can figure this out. Wasn't much figuring to it. You just pull and it pops right out. So let's see, you got the case. You got a card for the background. And you've got the fig pin himself. And that feels like metal. That is metal. That's pretty cool. And he actually has a display stand there on the back. And you can see the pins right there in that plastic. Let me see here. Okay, that's rubber. And you just pull that right off. So there you have the pin fig pin right there got your display stand and i guess if you wanted to wear this on your shirt or jacket you just use this as the backing and pin it on 
That's pretty sweet. I love the fact that's metal. That is cool. So I wonder, I thought maybe you could flip this around, but you can't to put fig pin on the front, but that's no biggie. Let's go ahead and put prime back in here. So there you got Optimus Prime. Let's take a look at Megatron now. Just pop that open. Once again, that's metal. Same deal. You got three pins holding him in with the rubber backing. That they, These are really nice and thick. That is awesome. I like these. So, a pleasant surprise. I really wasn't sure what I was going to get when I ordered these fig pins. So, here we'll compare the fig pins once again to Netflix Bumblebee. So, they're actually a pretty decent size. I paid $15 for those. I'm not sure what their regular retail price is. I know I've seen bigger ones. There was a really big Venom fig pen at my Walmart I noticed uh, yesterday. But those, yeah, those, those are pretty cool. I dig them. So there you have it. Transformers fig pens. Do they belong in your collection? I don't know. I mean, they're neat. I mean, they're not something I'm going to hunt down, though I did see a sound wave and jazz at Entertainment Earth. So <laughs> you never know. Just depends on if I got money burning a hole in my pocket. I do think these are going to look really good on my Optimus Prime and Megatron shelf, so it's completely up to you. Do I regret buying them? Not one bit. And now I know what the f fig pins are. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!